Well, it's a mystery to me. We have agreed, of which we have agreed. You think I need to want more than you need. And until you have it all, you won't be free. Society, you're a crazy breed. I hope you're not lonely without me. He's society, crazy indeed. I hope you're not lonely without me. Hi guys, we are out on a winter wild camp. I've brought along with me Megan, um, bless her. She's come out, looking forward to it. Yeah, marshmallows, M&Ms, tea. Tea. I'm doing spaghetti bolognese, some kind of uh, some kind of nice meal. We're just out for a, a good laugh and a bit of fun, really. We're going to get the firewood together in a minute. Yeah. You can have a go with the axe and all that, can you? Yeah, it'll be well fun. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah and then we'll show you guys around our camp setup and uh, just bear with us guys we weren't actually going to do a video but we decided that we were going to do a video in the end so we're gonna hopefully try and take you guys along with us and have a lot of fun ourselves uh, along the way so uh, we'll get back to you we're gonna get to uh, have a little look around camp and then we've got to get on with some firewood good old winter wall camping who said it was going to be easy eh <laughs> so that's Megan set up there. It's a, it's a two man, this uh, backpacker tent. I've had it for a few years. I've never really used it to be fair. So I dug it out the shed and uh, Megan's going to have a go in it. But um, I'll say, I, I normally, when I used to not use a hammock, I would normally just uh, use a top, bivy bag, and uh, Bash your set up really. I'm go gone for the ticket to the moon hammock set up, snug pack under blanket in there, and uh, you all see me set that up on the last wild camp. And pretty well, much we're in the same kind of area. This is a nice little bit of ground up here, uh, it's not miles from the car, so uh, my Megs didn't have miles to uh, hike her gear. There's the complete setup. We have a bit of a fire, hopefully down there tonight. Already started a little bit of wood, uh, wood making. This is kind of the surroundings we're in. Uh, real mature woodlands this one is. And uh, quite isolated really up here, it's quite nice. That's Cavana hatchet there. Already been processing some wood. And uh, yeah, all in all, it's not looking bad. All I've got to do is get some more firewood cut. Well, it's time to get some food on the go. I've got two Trangia burners, firebox on one, ember lit on the other, two great stoves, and they both work really well with a Trangia burner in there. I'm just going to do some spaghetti bolognese. Uh, so far, so good. And there we go. Uh, Nice spaghetti bolognese. Read it and weep, chef. There you go, mate. That's my idea of camp cooking. Done it. Come sit by my fire, I have a story to tell you. Don't lie, it's freaking me out. My feelings are breaking, my soul kind of shaking. Tell you no lie Cause time waits Well guys, it is 
nearly half past three. Checked on Megan, she's sound all asleep in her tent, which is good. Um, I got woke up by a couple of owls that were shouting down the woods, and uh, one was right above uh, my hammock setup, if you like, and uh, woke me up shouting. So I got up, made myself a cup of tea. I noticed that temperature's dropping all the time, it's getting colder and colder and colder. But uh, I'm not cold at all in the setup that I'm using. A snug pack on the blanket here. A Rab Genesis 2 sleeping bag. I'm going to do a review on this sleeping bag because it really is impressive. Um, well, with the under blanket combined with softies and the sleeping bag, I've slept out in minus minus uh, temperatures if you just use the sleeping bag it really would be just a three season sleeping bag I wouldn't want to sleep out in icy conditions I think you'd get a bit chilly but uh, plenty warm enough plenty warm enough for me anyway yeah that's the thing with winter uh, or wild camping really you've just got to try and play around with your kit a little bit to try and get what's right for you so the worst thing is getting cold oh, I hate getting cold at night I'd prefer to carry more and keep warm and then carry less to me anyone you know any fool if they say can get cold at night but if you can keep warm it just adds to the enjoyment of the wild camp It'll be nearly time to uh, get up in a minute and start breakfast. Uh, uh, three. Normally get up at four anyway. So, uh, try and get some breakfast on the go in a bit. I'll just wait for Megan to get up. She'll probably get up about ten o'clock. <laughs> I'm just going to sit back. I'm just going to listen to the sounds of the woods. And that's something else that I highly recommend. It's when you're out, you're out camping, that's the best thing about staying in a hammock. You can just lay back and listen to the sounds of the woods. You'll often hear a, chick -chick 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 -chick. a little mouse or something like that running up through the woods. And you've got owls. Then you can hear your foxes and badgers normally make a bit of a racket down through the cover of the woods and the woods can be a magical place and that's what it's got to be all about guys isn't it it's listening to try and identify what you can what you're hearing well it's what time half past four, half past four and we're up cooking bacon sandwiches. Ugh. Hungry? Yeah. Did you enjoy your bacon sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> Half four cooking bacon sandwiches. I feel like the day's already started, do you? Yeah. Well guys, thanks for joining us on this winter wild camp. It's certainly been a fun one. Have you enjoyed yourself? Yeah. You coming again? Yeah. So from me and Megan out in the woods, out in the field. Guys, hope everyone's having a great time. Remember, all of you stay safe and just go out there and have some fun. And we've certainly done that this weekend, don't we? Yeah. So guys, we'll see you all on the next one.